Hi developers! In today's tutorial, we'll be exploring how to debug an ASP.NET Core MVC application in Visual Studio. Debugging is a crucial skill for a developer because it helps to identify and fix bugs efficiently. I have a to-do list web application here. After the user types the task and clicks the Save button, it should show a saved success notification message. But the notification message is not displayed. Now, we need to know what causes this bug. Specifically, we want to know, after the user clicks this Save button, what happens at the back that causes the notification message to not display. Debugging will help us find the root cause. So, let's start debugging. Let's see the code. After clicking the Save button, it will post to the index action. So, let's put a breakpoint at the index action. What is a breakpoint? A breakpoint is a marker you place in your code to pause the execution of the program at specific points. Simply click on the gray bar to the left of the line number in your code. Now click the play button to run the application. Or you can press F5 to run it. Now do the same, enter a task and click the save button. It will hit the breakpoint and stop the execution. Now we can press F10 to let it move to the next line. After that, we can hover over the code to see its value. The model state dot is valid is false. That's why it didn't go through the line of code that related to the notification message. We can press F10 to validate the next step. As you can see, it's directly go here. Let's find out why the model state is invalid. Expand this model here. The ID field is invalid. Let's hover over this model to see the values we get. The ID is null. That's why it's invalid. To remove the validation on the ID field, we can write model state.remove ID. After editing the code, let's stop debugging and restart again. Okay, now the model state is valid and it will go through the notification code. The notification is displayed now. Now I am going to demonstrate how to revert the steps while debugging and also using a hot reload. Let's say we press F10 until here and we want to change the notification message. Click on this down arrow icon beside the fire icon and make sure the hot reload on file save is selected. It should have a tick here. Now let's change the notification message. Then. Press Control save to save the changes. Now, drag this yellow arrow back here. Then, press F10 to make it revisit the code. Now, we don't want to continue to see the next step, so we can directly click the Continue button here. The changes are reflected. The message has changed to saved successfully. That's all for today's video. I hope it helps. See you in the next video about an exciting project or tutorial.